Hi, and welcome to Sprout Studio V3 The Tour. My name is Brian Capricci, and I'm the CEO and founder here at Sprout Studio. I'm also your tour guide for these videos here to help you learn all about Sprout Studio V3. Now, today in this video, we're talking about the back end booking proposal and the back end booking page builder. We really looked at the back end booking page builder uh, with a whole new set of uh, lenses, if you will. We took a lot of feedback from Sprouters, from you, our community, and uh, we looked at it really hard and said, this needs to um, see a pretty significant overhaul. And so I'm really excited to show you, and I'm really excited that you're here and that you're going to learn all about the new booking page builder because booking proposals are one of the most used features in Sprout Studio. It is what powers the experience that you give your clients uh, to book you as their photographer. And so the easier it is for you to build it, the easier it is for you to navigate around it and to know what you're doing and to feel confident in what you're putting out there to your clients, um, the better it is and the more uh, comfortable and the more likely you are to use that feature and to therefore give your clients a better experience. So kind of all comes full circle where we said, if we can make it better, if we can make the builder more intuitive, if we can make the builder um, easier to understand and simpler to see the flow of how things are gonna work, then more of our Sprouters will use the feature. And so that's why I'm excited to show you the booking page builder in V3. I have V2 pulled up right here, and then obviously right beside it, I have V3 pulled up over here. We're going to go in and we're actually going to build a booking page first. Uh, a booking proposal is arguably the same thing as a booking page. The only difference is that a booking proposal is a part of a lead, whereas a booking page is standalone. So we're not going to go into a lead to do this. We're just going to go onto the booking page, uh, page here, and we're going to go ahead and add a new one here. And then I'm going to go over here into V3 and click booking page and then click add new right here. So this is V2. This is Sprout Studio V2. This is the current way that you build a booking page. Now let's go on over here into V3 and look at how you build the booking page. Let's start to compare and contrast some of the things. So the first thing that you're noticing is that in V2, it's just very modular in the sense that we've got the offerings set up here and then you click your price list and then you can add options down here. You have payment details down here in this big panel, and then you have these save and send details in this panel, this message templates in this panel, and then other options in this panel, and all of these things up here in the top right corner uh, with an apply template and an unviewed uh, page here to show how many views you have on that particular booking page. So that's where things are here in V2. Whereas in V3, we actually designed these to mimic the flow that your clients go through so that you have a more clear understanding of what's happening. So we build these in a linear flow. So it starts always with an invitation and then it goes to the welcome message and then it goes to the offerings and then it goes to the questionnaire and then it goes to a contract and then the thank you message and then the payment. So we built this in a much more linear fashion as opposed to this one on V2, which was kind of all over the place. Um, all the same information is here. It's just streamlined and made easier to understand. And then, of course, we have settings over here for various settings relating to it. And then we also have a notes and log section, which is new, that allows you to add notes and just sort of add this like ongoing ticker of log entries uh, as you make changes or as you talk to clients and they have questions for you. And then the shoot type and all of that in the user list is over here in this metadata uh, little section here. So again, if you go into here and then I choose uh, a price list here uh, on V2, then it's gonna now offer me this option here to build in my offerings. And this is where I can now pick collections and add them in. So we're gonna go ahead and just add three collections here. So there we go, collection one, two, and three. And then I've got a la carte items down here that I can now add additional a la carte items, such as items that the client can purchase one off, like let's just do an engagement book. And then I'm gonna go single, or do I wanna let them do multiple? So go add, and then we'll go save. 
So that's how it's done here in V2 for packages and then a la carte items. If I go over here into V3, let's kind of look at how that works. So if I now click into the price list here, it now breaks down, okay, great. What are the offerings that you wanna offer? And then next, what are the a la carte items? So we're gonna click add offering. I'm gonna click my packages into here. Now that I've got those set up, I'm gonna go ahead and add that a la carte item in here. And there's that single multi-toggle as well. And again, you can see here in V2 versus V3, in order to edit the coupon or the discount that you wanna apply to that, you gotta go into this, and then you gotta choose it in the top right corner once that loads. There it is, a discount, let's say 10%, and then you can say show discount, yes or no. So if I click save there, if I go over to V3, it's all right here. So I can go 10% and I don't want to show it. So it's right there. You can see it. It's easy to see. And these prices here actually reflect the discount. So you can see what it looks like. If I give 50% off, that's going to show those numbers down there. So you can see exactly what you're offering and you can see these package prices here as well. So that, and then of course you can reorder these if you'd like to, to reorder them and set them into the right order for you. And that is the offering section here in V3. If I go over here, under the payment details over here, you got single payment or payment schedule. And if you choose payment schedule, then you got to choose one. Uh, and then you also have tax, collection method, and allow coupons. That's where you specify how people pay you. This is for the tax and whether you want to show the coupon chooser, yes or no. If I go over here into V3, let's go on down here to payment terms. It's the last thing. And by default, it says due in. And I've got this set to 11 days because in my preferences, I'm not going to go in there just right now, but in my preferences, I have my default payment terms set to be 11 days. So by default, it will use that. You can also just say, hey, you know what? I want it to do as soon as they book. They got to pay the whole thing right away. That's great. Or I can click payment schedule and then go ahead and choose a payment schedule there. So I'm going to choose that one right there just to add that on in. So that's where you set that up. And then the other settings are going to be up here in settings, payment methods. This is where you can say, how are they going to pay you? And then tax, this is set up right here. And then you've got your allow coupons, yes or no, right there. So that is where you set that up over here in V2 and then over here in V3. Now up here, this is where you've got add contract. And then if you add it, you have to click it over here and then go ahead and pull that in. Let's go over here and look at on V3. Again, we built this linear. So it starts with an invitation, goes into a welcome message, offerings, a la carte items, questionnaire, and there's contract. So you click add contract, click your wedding contract, and then you can click add, and there we are. So now it kind of adds this as this little uh, this little panel over here to see uh, what's happening over there. And then questionnaire is here, whereas questionnaire over here is going to be over here on this little settings panel in V2. Click cancel on that one. And otherwise, you've got your settings toggles over here, email link to shoot, uh, workflow, so on and so forth. If I go over here. We have settings here and you have email link to shoot, workflow, and all of that uh, set up over there. And then again, up here, you've got your currency, which is new actually for booking pages. We didn't have that on V2. What shoot type you want this to be creating and then what brand as well as what users are on it. Whereas up here, you've got type, brand, and then the uses over here. And so that's just like a really quick run through on where things were in V2 booking pages and where things are now in V3 booking pages. Continuing on from the comparison of V2 and V3, let's kind of just keep building this booking page in V3. Let's forget about V2 now and just run through finishing up, setting all of this stuff up. So again, I've got this same booking page still pulled up here. Uh, we've started by adding some offerings, some a la carte items. We have a contract added. Uh, this is where you set up your welcome message, but let's just start up here at the top and go invitation. Let's go ahead and schedule the shoot date and let's choose uh, that invitation that I've already got set up there. Again, you can see that there. Of course, you can add more invitations here if you'd like to. And you can also specify here, well, when do you want to reserve the date? Do you want to reserve the date in your calendar as soon as someone fills out this booking page? Do you want to reserve it uh, after a certain amount of time or do you want to reserve it for, sorry, uh, a certain amount of time? Or you want to reserve it only once the client has paid. And then you want to auto close all leads that haven't paid you after a certain period of time. This is really great for mini sessions. If you know clients are going there and poking around and experimenting with it, 
if you only want that date to be reserved once they've actually paid, and then if you want Sprout just to help you clean up all those old leads, then you can do that with that. So that's kind of what that is there. Uh, moving on here into welcome message, I can just click edit here. This is where you edit your welcome message. Close out that. Uh, and then the same thing for the thank you message. The thank you message is also up here. So you can kind of specify all of that here for the thank you message, which shows up at the end of your uh, booking booking page. And otherwise, we've kind of already walked through invitation. We can add more. Uh, when do you want to reserve? Welcome message, offerings, a la carte. Questionnaire is the next one here. So you can grab this. And let's go ahead and just grab one of my template questionnaires. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Great, so that sample questionnaire, uh, contract, thank you message, payment terms, and that's mostly it. We've got shoot type, brand, currency, users, any of the other settings over here, and now you can basically click the make live button, and that makes it live. So now you can click view right here to open this up on the front end and see what your client will see. And that is booking pages in Sprout Studio V3.